guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be showing you four different nude and white eyeliners on my lower waterline today to see which one actually looks best on my skin tone and eye color and which one makes my eyes look larger and my face look more awake. So I use nude and white eyeliners just to brighten up my eye. I like it for a daytime look and I always get compliments, especially when I wear my white eyeliner. So today I just wanted to do a really close comparison apples to apples with the same makeup, same hair, same lighting to see which of these eyeliners actually looks the best. I'm also going to talk about the different price points and workability of each eyeliner. So I have them all on my hand right here and I'm going to quickly go through the four different liners that we're comparing. So the first one is is the Lord and Berry in nude. This one's $22, actually the most expensive out of the bunch. The next one is going to be the Essence, and this one is in a silky nude color. This is a $4 eyeliner. Um, the third nude color is the L'Oreal Nude Beige Eyeliner. And the last one, the one I always get compliments on is the Tattoo Studio in white. And after I do all of these, I'm also gonna slide over a photo of my face with black eyeliner just to see the comparison and to see if my face actually does look more refreshed and awake with the lighter colors versus the solid black. So I am going to apply the Lord and Berry on my right eye. And the first two I've found, the two that I'm gonna apply the uh, Lord and Berry and the Essence, you do need to make several passes just to fully coat your waterline. Um, I found that they are less waterproof and come off a little bit easier than the second two that I'm gonna apply. So the Lord and Berry is on my right eye while the Essence is on my left eye. So I have removed those two and I'm ready to apply the L'Oreal in nude beige on my right eye. And honestly, out of the package, I just really did not like this color for me. It has more of an orangey finish to it. I think it would look better on someone with darker skin um, rather than the first two that I applied have more of a pinky white finish. Um, this white one I really do love, but um, it has a very dramatic look to it compared to the nudes. And both of these ones are way more waterproof than the first two, so they're a lot harder to take off. That is one advantage slash disadvantage. And these two, again, they're thicker, they're more waterproof, so I definitely feel the need to retouch my mascara after applying these. All right, so that is the white um, by Tattoo Studio and the L'Oreal in nude beige on the right hand side. It's gonna be this one and this one. And lastly, I'm gonna slide over that photo of me with black eyeliner. Let me know what you guys think looks the best. Overall, my least favorite nude is definitely the L'Oreal because of the orange finish to it. Um, I do like the Tattoo Studio in the white for a really dramatic look. And the Lord and & Berry and Essence are really similar in hue um, and how they go on but I would pick the Essence over the Lord & Berry just because it's a fraction of the price at $4 compared to the 22. So let me know what you guys think. I genuinely wanna know which one you guys think looks best because I might just be out there with some crazy eyeliner that looks doesn't look good and no one wants to say anything. So leave your comments below. If there's anyone that you recommend for my skin tone, um, others out there may find that super useful. So be sure to leave that in the comments below. I do a lot of videos on beauty, fitness, DIY. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.